to be able to meet DIY Naz, this is how you do it. The thing that you're going to need, of course, is a PC. I got this from my friend for free. Next thing you're going to need is a stack of random parts. Trust me, this is the most important part. And that also, you're going to need an iFixit kit or some type of screwdriver kit. You don't really need it, but I just recommend it makes life easier. And then also, since you're building a NAS, you're going to want a lock on your NAS. So make sure you get a lock. Just, you know, for data security. Open this beast. We got the lock off. Let's open it. All right, so just by me looking at this, I'm going to repaste the CPU. I'm going to put 8 gigabytes of RAM. I'm getting rid of the disk drive. We're never going to need that. We have two hard drive bays here. I can probably fit another two here. And we got room for a GPU and Wi-Fi card. I'm not going to use a Wi-Fi card, but, you know, just as a just-in-case. All right, let's go over what RAM I have. I have four gig two 4 gigabyte sticks of PC3, aka DDR3 memory. Let's put it in. You're going to want to hear the click. It's all the way in there. Next, our GPU. So I don't know if I should use AMD or NVIDIA, but for right now, let's go with NVIDIA. This is a GT1030. This is a very low profile card. All right, that's in there. All right, now let's choose a hard drive. Let's choose a hard drive. We have the, I'm gonna choose these two. These are two 500 gigabyte drives so we can run them in array so that one drive dies, oh well. So this is going to be a total of 500 gigabytes of usable NAS storage. I don't know if it really matters if the drives are mismatched, so oh well. Screwdriver comes in. You're going to want to take out these drive cages and hope that there's something in the drive cages to hold on the hard drive. Turns out I don't think these work with this, these hard drives, so oh well, we'll just throw it in there and call it a day. Got the hard drives in. Now we just need to get out this disk drive. Got out the disk drive. Almost forgot our boot drive. I almost did. Let's choose a boot drive. I kind of don't really want to waste this 250 gig hard drive. I mean, this 1000 gig hard drive. Let's see if we have anything over here. No, I don't think we do. So what we're going to have to do is, is we're probably going to use a full size hard drive, but less gigabytes. So that's a 500 gig. This looks like a good candidate, a 250 gig Seagate. Barracuda. Got the boot drive in. Let's close her up. It's all closed up, it's ready to go. Come back for part two to see me install TrueNAS.